It is time. It's weapon banner time. We are going for verdict. We have 12 pulls. We are at like 60-ish pity. Okay, we're at 50 pity. I have been working on getting Navia built and I can almost get her done. I just need some more of these and I'll probably need more of these, but I should be able to farm them all today. Otherwise, we have been getting most of her stuff down. Her artifacts are garbage, but we can't really do much to them at the moment because I haven't been getting good luck, so we shall see. But first, let's get the verdict. Ten pull, five star. Come on. Okay. Axe. The verdict. Axe. Oh, brick. Double five star? Please. Du double, double. It's not a double five star. Got a Xing Cho. Hell yeah. He's already C6. That sucks. We have six more pulls. Come on. Last pull. Please. Genshin, please. No. Well, that was not very fun. That was over pretty quick. That's yay. And this is basically not useful for anyone. Awesome. I thought we're going to carry him on my trend of only getting the signature weapons for characters that we want. But it appears that that is only for pole arms. Apparently, we only like to get pole arms in the weapon banner. Looks like we're going to continue to run with this weapon then. I'll probably still do pulls on here until we finish the banner because I really do want this. There's not a high chance I'm going to get it, but I do really want the verdict. So I will keep doing pulls. Since that didn't go to plan, let's at least get Navia built. Okay, well, we can ascend Navia up to 80. Should be able to level her up. We can. Boom, there we go. 80. Can we go 90? We have enough of these. We need a couple more of these. We need 12 more of them. And we need, like, 12 more of them. Well, I should be able to get everything. Not a problem. So let's head down here. And let's get 12 more of the painful, annoying water bubble thingies. Whatever these things are. Spring of first dewdrop. Well, we do get enough of the these things. So, boom. Navia is now maxed out. There we go. Level 90 Navia. Now we need to do our talents, which I probably won't be able to get very far, but we shall see. Yep, we're already out of stuff. Awesome. Well, I should be able to craft a decent amount, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Okay, let's get them all up to six, including her normal attack. I know it's not super, super useful, but Navia is going to be a main DPS, and I want to do a ton of damage with her, so might as well. So let's see how far we can get these talents up now. We're going to go this one. We can only get it up once with the weekly boss shops we have. Hopefully we can craft some more though. Now we're going to do the skill again. Can't go any further there. So we'll do one more of the burst. Now I would be able to either get the burst up to eight or the skill to nine. And I'm going to go skill to nine because that's the main thing that we want. We don't have enough Mora. We have enough Mora to get it to 8, but we don't have enough Mora to get this. Okay, we are just a little bit short though, so let me quickly condense one resin, because that's all we have, and go do a Mora ley line then. Okay, awesome. Well, boom. There we go. Her skill is at 9. Can't get this any further because we're out of everything. Can we level up artifacts? I don't think we can. As you can see, we're not running very good pieces whatsoever. They are all unbelievably garbage. Like, this piece isn't even remotely level up, leveled up, and what, what the hell is even is that? But it's because we have nothing else. Honestly, at this point, whereas this is probably even better. It's HP, but it's probably even better at this point. Can we hit crit rate? Nope. Great. Love to see it. Those are some incredible Navia stats. 2k attack, 21k HP, 50 to 131. 150. Uh, that's really, really good. Let's go see what she does damage-wise. Now, she did do some pretty solid damage when we last messed around with her, but I don't feel like that is going to go up too hugely. She did like 40-odd k last time. I shouldn't have put Farina's things down. They're just going to kill it. Oh, well. Let's see what we do. 100 and... 
30k. Jesus Christ. That is... That's a lot of damage. No, that's a lot of damage! Um, I was not expecting that much damage even remotely. Well, I'm going to Masanori because I, I want to see all of her damage now because, Jesus, that was a lot. I was expecting maybe 60k considering she only went up not that much. But, um, Navia seems to continue to prove me wrong in how much damage she does. She doesn't do, like, as much damage over time because she can only do sort of big hits of it. But still, that's pretty good damage. She does 4... 5k normal attacks. And with no buffs, she does 80k. None of the little bullet things. She does 14k. Pretty good. I didn't see her burst though, so I would like to see what her burst does. It does hits of 4k. 72k? That was not even like... That didn't have any of her buffs or anything up. Jesus. 47k. No buffs. God, I knew she did good damage, but... With this bad of a build, I did not expect this much damage. She just died. Good. Okay, well, um, we're, we're, we're leaving. Well, apart from the crappy weapon banner pulls, that went pretty well. Didn't get the verdict. I will still be going for it, but I doubt I'm going to have enough pulls. Although, after, you know, this banner finishes, I'm probably going to be saving for Pyro Archon. Unless we get a Hu Tao rerun, in which case I'm going for as many constellations of Hu Tao as I can. Because Hu Tao is my favorite character, so... I want to get as many cons of her as I can. I already have her at C1. So we want to go eventually C6. But it's probably going to be a good while before I get C6 Hutao because, you know, I don't spend. So it might take a minute. But uh, yeah, I think that's about all I can do because everything is either time gated or don't have enough pulls. This did not go exactly how I planned, but that's, yeah, we, I seem to be pretty used to that now considering nothing None of my pools are going how I plan, which is fun. We got it. We love that. But uh, yeah, on that not so fun note, this is where we're going to leave the video off. We did, however, hit 130k, 138k or whatever, which is pretty damn good. I'd say Navia is probably one of the best free to play or low investment DPSs because look at these stats. These are, these are horrible stats. I mean, she does have 2k attack, which is pretty good. But still, these are not good at stats, what, like, by any means. And she hits 130k off of one ele elemental skill, which is pretty good. Her artifacts aren't even leveled up, some of them. You know, we've got three of them, I think. No, two of them, level 20, and the rest of them are garbage. So, with that being said, I think that's where we're going to leave it off. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you like sort of content, do consider subscribing. And, uh, yeah... Hope you guys enjoyed and good. Bye.